John H. Robertson, I'm coming after you. In the last video we did about the credit app, I talked about the problem of collecting from clients that don't wanna pay you. Now in today's video, I wanna run through the credit app and show you how it works for delinquent customers and how you can collect money from them by reporting them to the credit bureaus. This video is brought to you by the credit app. Start reporting your delinquent customers to the credit bureaus, just like the big guys. This video is also brought to you by Email 10K. By the way, if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe down below and smash that like button to encourage this video to be spread far and wide in the YouTube ecosystem or ecosystem. Let me know if you think it's pronounced ecosystem, hit that like button. If you think it's pronounced ecosystem, hit that like button and subscribe. All right, <laughs> with that said, let's go. So let's go over to the credit app and I'll show you this. And you can see here that you can easily report people. We'll just go to start reporting. Just if, if you guys don't remember, the credit app bills themselves as a smarter way to collect non-payments. Basically, you just upload the information and the documents of the customer that's in default. So customers that have failed to pay you, you can report them to the credit bureau. The reason why you'd wanna do this is when you report a client to the credit bureau, they might actually pay you. Before something like the credit app, the only recourse you have if a client didn't wanna pay, I mean, you could hire a collections company, but they'd take a percentage. You could maybe take it to a lawyer, but then it'd be $20,000. Instead, you could report them to the credit bureaus and now they'll have a delinquent mark on their credit report until they pay you. How beautiful is that? So upload the information and documents of the customer that is in default. They send out a personalized notice via email and text notifying the debtor of non-payment. We instruct them to pay you directly to prevent the negative credit mark. And then after a two week grace period, the debt will be reported to the credit bureaus with your name as the creditor, your company name. Credit reporting with the credit app is similar to filing a lien it lets the world know that this person is a high credit risk. The negative mark will stay on the record until they pay you or seven years. Then when they see the negative mark, they know where to mail the check and when they're ready to have credit again because they can instantly get it removed if they pay. All you gotta do is first sign in by putting in your email address. It'll send you a special sign in link. Now you do this new debtor form. You can buy that. So you put your company name, X27 LLC, put your debtor first name, let's say, I don't know, John Robertson, debtor middle name, which also helps. I'll just put the middle initial of H. John H. Robertson, I'm coming after you. It's a made up name. Let's say it's jrobertson at gmail.com. Does a business owe you money or a consumer? Well, it's gonna be a business. And the phone number here, let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. The debtor company name would be J. Roberts Inc. The debtor address, 123 Fake Street, and the debtor city, New York. New York, right, then the, the zip. The date of birth also helps. You can have all, all this info to report them to the credit bureau. And so, do you type it in? Nope, we just gotta, so when you click about 10,000 times. Here's, the, here's my note to the credit app. How do you do date of birth in an easy way? Default amount, let's say he owes us $8,500. The default date must be 30 days before today's date. So let's say it was January 12th, 2021. Please upload the defaulted contract. We'll upload this PDF here. By typing your name here, you sign and certify that all information is accurate and in compliance with all of the credit apps, terms and conditions. Perfect, add the bag. We'd pay the fee, agree, pay the fee, check out, pop in the credit card number and that's it, pay 50 bucks and then it goes. And that's it with the credit app. Some other information to know is Small business owners are allowed to report bad debts just like any other company, but small business owners, we don't do it typically. And a lot of small business owners don't collect the money that they're owed because they run out of options. They don't wanna hire a collections company. They don't wanna hire a lawyer. And if they did something like this, if they went to the credit app, they might be able to actually get more of the money that they're owed. You might be asking after all this, can't you just submit anything you want? What if the debtor doesn't owe the money that you write? What if John Roberts comes back and is like, I don't know, you any money, man? What are you doing? Well, the credit app actually has a dispute resolution process, which requires, basically you saw it. You have to upload a document that proves that John Roberts owes the debt, that proves that the client owes the debt. And then if the client wants that removed, they have to submit documents to the credit app to prove they don't owe the debt. 
Those documents normally are a receipt that the thing's been paid for in full or avoided invoice, like something that proves that they don't owe what you say they owe. And if both parties provide information, then the credit app will actually refund you. And that only happens about 5% of the time or less. Let me know down below, what do you think of companies like the credit app? And in the next video we do with them, this is what I wanna talk about next. I wanna talk about the pros and cons of using a service like this. If that sounds interesting, let me know down in the comments below. I'm sure the guys from the credit app would love to see that as well. I've never heard anybody else talk about this and it's very interesting. It's good leverage to have if your clients aren't paying you. By the way, you can get a discount code for 25% off your first order by using the code right here. We'll write it out. It is Z465BBNKIAO5. This video is brought to you by the credit app. The credit app allows small business owners to report defaults and non-payments from their customers directly to the credit bureaus. With this service, you can avoid the $200 an hour collection attorneys and get the same results without the cost. All you have to do is go to thecreditapp.org, upload the debtor's information, and wait for your customer to call. If you're struggling to get clients that pay you what you deserve and you want a quick path from zero to 10K a month, in your agency, check out email10k.com. You can see that, we'll link it right down below and you can check that out. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Smash that like button to encourage this type of content on YouTube and comment down below. What do you think of this video? Thanks for watching. I'm Alex Berman.